Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Notion uh, with uh, Google Sheets. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Notion.com. Once we do that, uh, as you can see, uh, we can uh, use a couple of, uh, couple of ways how to integrate those two. First of which is Automate.io. I will leave the link in the description under this video. What we want to do, we want to go and hover over integrations on the top corner of your screen at automate.io and we want to slide to the top left corner of this pop-up window, which is see all categories. Once we are here, uh, we are directed into the search engine and we want to uh, start with the first application that we want to integrate, integrate and that's Notion. Ah, sorry. Notion. Now, we want to pick the second one. We'll be affected by the Notion, which is uh, Google Sheets. Click on Google Sheets and as you can see, there's a couple of options already pre-made for us by Automate some popular integrations that we can pick from or we can create our own integration straight away uh, by adding like uh, yeah we want to start with notion so we have to go to the second part or second half of these options so let's go with a new database item for example and now we have to pick what will happen in uh, in uh, as, a, as an as an action in uh, Google Sheets. So let's go with add row and we go with try now. Once we uh, click try now, we'll get redirected and we have to log in into our automate.io account. The other way around, it's through zapier.com. Zapier.com is also very good and very helpful integration app. Uh, we also need to create an account here and we want to start in a dashboard and we want to go to the top left corner, which is make a zap. We click on uh, make a zap. We can name our zap by Notion to Sheets, for example. We press enter. And once again, same as uh, at Automate, we want to start with a Notion here. We choose an event. As you can see, there's only one event we can choose from new database item. We wait a second. We press continue. Uh, we now uh, have to choose an account. Continue. Uh, we have to uh, choose a trigger. Uh, I don't have any database items in uh, Notion created, but if you are familiar with Notion, basically you have a couple of options to choose from from your workspace uh, workspace options. The second action, uh, second action will be same. As in uh, Automate, uh, it will be uh, Google Sheets. Let's go with Google Sheets. We also have to choose an event. Let's go with the first one. We press continue. And the last thing you have to do is just to sign in to Google Sheets. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.